All right, friends and carry-ons, it is time for tip video number five, not 10, just five. All right, so again, this is going to be carnival specific. Um, I wanted to talk to you about the kids clubs, what ages and what things are offered. Um, so you've got some choices here. You've got from infants all the way up to age 17 have clubs that they can visit. So if you're bringing kids, make sure you read up on this really thoroughly after I talk about it. All right, so we're gonna start at Camp Oceans. Infant and under two program is called the Turtles. And they're classifying an infant as a child six months of age old and up to two years old. That is gonna be uh, Camp Ocean's Turtles. Then two to five year old is gonna be their Penguin Program. And then six to eight years old is called the Stingrays. And nine to 11 is called the Shark Program. So if you're bringing a baby, if you're bringing someone who's gonna go into, let's say specifically the penguin program, which is two to five years old, you've got some things that you need to know. So you've got your sign in and out policy. All children must be registered by a parent or guardian prior to participating in any of the youth programs. That's even up to age 17. Um, registration should be completed pre-cruise when you do your cruise check-in. It's there. Go ahead and do it. Even if you don't think you're going to use it, do it anyway. That way it's done. That's super simple. You can get that out of the way. Um, children do not have to be potty trained in order to take part in Camp Ocean or to take part in the Night Owls service, which I will talk about that briefly in just a second. Parents must provide the youth staff with diapers and toiletries to use for their child. Um, however, children over the age of five or over 50 pounds will not be changed by the youth staff. Uh, parents and guardians uh, are, will be provided with a phone and must sign the child out of the kids club, change them, and then you can check them back in. All right, so let's talk about hours. So C-Days, um, it's scheduled complimentary programming, runs uh, from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m and then from 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. And then it's followed up by Night Owls. So here's a great segue into Night Owls. Night Owls is offered each evening from 10 p.m. to 1 a.m. in Camp Ocean for a fee. Currently looking at Carnival's website, it is $7.50 per hour, plus an 18% service charge per child. Um, they will do things like movies, games, toys, and they will provide snacks. Um, Owls Jams on select evenings of the cruise, they have additional parties. They're $17 per party plus an 18% service charge per child. Uh, parents are encouraged to pick up for meal times. Uh, times and menus are advertised in the Youth Activities Schedule section on the Hub app. Uh, then you've got Camp Ocean Kids Only Lunch is offered on port days from 12 to 12.50 in the Lido restaurant. Uh, time and location may vary. Um, sample menu for lunch may include chicken nuggets, uh, cheese or pepperoni pizza, french fries, carrots and celery sticks with ranch, and chocolate chip cookies for dessert. Then you have Camp Ocean Kids Only Dinner. It's offered every evening except for embarkation day from 6 to 6.50 in the Lido. Um, and you may get plain pasta with tomato sauce and meatballs, mixed veggies, hot dogs, hamburgers, whatever. Um, and then dining room, uh, children eating in the dining room are doing so with their parent or guardian. Camp Ocean does not take children to eat in the dining room. All right, so then let's talk about your older kids. So you're bringing some teenagers or preteens with you. Well, what in the world do they have for these guys? Well... We got you covered. So their youth program is great. Our kids actually participate in the youth program and really enjoy it. So they've got Circle C for young teens, 12 to 14 years old. Um, and they play sports, they play video games, they watch movies, they've done crafts. Um, they've done all kinds of fun scavenger hunts and all kinds of fun stuff. Our kids really enjoy it. They get to come and go as they please. You do not have to sign them in. You do not have to sign them out. You do have to pre-register them when you check in for your cruise uh, 14 days ahead of time. 
Um, and then you do have to go and actually check them in on the first day they go there. A parent does have to go with them that first time. But after that, they're on their own to come and go as they please. And then you've got Club O2 for 15 through 17 year olds. Um, again, it's you can watch movies, listen to music, dance. They do karaoke. Um, sometimes they'll even attend shows together. Um, last cruise, Phillips uh, and Mallory's, they were in the um, Circle C and they attended a show as a group. Um, here's some other activities in Club O2. They may do capture the flag or dodgeball um they'll do arts and crafts they'll do you choose which is just kind of free time in there so lots of fun things even for your older teens to do so make sure that they go check that out they may have a great time my kids have met friends they've stayed in touch uh, it's been a good time for them they really enjoy that so there's lots of fun things for your kids to do while they're on board a carnival cruise so make sure you check that out make sure that you like and subscribe so you don't miss all of our fun fun content. And as always, if you have luggage, you should be traveling. See you next time.